Okay, being all black folks, and I think I'm, I'm just, I gotta bite tongue on stuff, but you should be, all right, so triangulation here, and you will see the dark, and I'm not sure how old this one is, but you see the triangulation in the dark, and you also in the fresh shot here, this is a fresh shot from February 4th, not gonna type time to have it load and so forth, but basically that's one of the Alaska volcanoes, okay, and basically you go to Dutch's, uh, site that he's got all of the uh, and there's more triangulation on this one and let's go over take a look left and see which that's another Alaska volcano okay I've got to go up here and find Mount Shasta now folks here you go uh, you had some trying you had these objects in the sky also back in 2009 and then you have a fresher look in two t uh, February 23rd of this year Okay, basically today's shot there. Uh, triangulation and action going on. And basically we are at, on that one, I believe, Mount Shasta. So let's go take a look at the volcano in... Uh, mm, I think they got that messed up on there. Let me see what we got inside here at the... And we have the triangulation going on right now at the Japan link. Now, earlier it was hotter red. Okay. And I'm not sure. Uh, I've never hit refresh on this before. And I don't think I have to. I think this is constantly live. But let me hit refresh and see what we, see what we get to happen. So it's a continuous live feed. And I apologize for where I have my mouse at it should go away there but you can see the terahydrons tetrahydrons out there folks the stars the fast moving twisting stars and basically you can see it in there in that cloud there and you hear here here there's a triangulation there and there's here and here and here okay and this is natural this isn't painted this is basically natural light action that's going on over there if you go and you can go to my website and I've got the links for all these cameras when you go to this video of mine, folks, the video painters, Beano Black, you go to that one, and there will be links down here. Okay? You hit the Show More button. You always want to hit the Show More because usually I have some info in there on for you. And basically, there you go. Okay? And probably more, most, the most impressive is Camera 9. Okay? And that's this right here. Okay? And now let's go back to other webcams. And yeah, we're getting real dark terahydrons, tetrahydrons in there. Okay, and also if you watch the video before, this is interesting stuff. I'm going to try to go in and check this out. And I think offshore Chiapas, Mexico. Okay, there's 5.0 today. All right, I'll hit refresh, see if we get anything that's new. But I believe this should be up to date at the central time that you see down here in the corner. It's reading the data right now, and we have... Uh, new 4.8 over in Japan. Okay. So keep watching the quakes. Now check out this also, folks. Basically, a guy made a comment in on this here. So check this volcano out too. Okay. They're seeing some action down there. All right. Mexico, he's stating. So check that on the comment on Wild, Wild Not Beano Black movie. Okay. So and go check that information that he's got out. Okay, this is a webcam over in Hawaii there, and basically uh, the weather has got it iced over pretty good, but you can see the sun come up, and also if you watch the clock, let's play, let's watch with that clock. As you can see the different action that the sun is giving us, as the ice is a real good filter, as you see it, the brightness of the sun, this is actually the sun, it's AM. But check out how it's coming up. And I also noticed here at Midwest that we are rotating hella fast the Earth is because you can differentiate when you're watching the sun come up. If you get a good enough view, you can see the same action that we're seeing right here of the sun coming up over there through this ice glaze. If you get some cloud cover and check that object to the left here that's right there. Do you see that? Okay. Now, yes, folks, there's, there's ice on the lens, okay? 
but you will see to the left check that very brightness okay and like I've said before that these are you will every camera flare you have ever seen folks is an actual object that's in front of the Sun okay no matter in history of time you go back to look at 35 millimeter film anything that's got those are not just flares from the Sun they are objects in front of the Sun that get hologrammed okay and as you see that to the left there you see that to the left very bright Okay, and that's the sun flopping and coming up over in Hawaii on this webcam. And then you see it on the dome also, okay? But before the sun and its radiation melts that ice on that lens, check that left propagation out. Big brightness, okay? And then we're going to watch the rest of the video here with me not touching it. And you're going to see that you see that uh, Oort cloud, okay? Now, yes, there's a lot of stuff on here that's ice and melting, but you're going to end up seeing... Oort cloud action. Okay, and then I think at the right at the beginning of this here that you are going to also see. You need to keep pay attention to the idea that you see the object that we've been seeing in that Oort cloud. So anyway, very interesting because the, the ice gives us somewhat of a filter. Okay. And then later on, yeah, the, the sun is glistening off the dome, okay? But before it does, check that out to the left because it's up high. See that up the high there? So the sun its giving us some great action through natural lenses. No matter what the power to be, they want us to see it because that's ice. That's just at natural ice covering on the lens, and we still end up getting a nice filter. It makes a filter to see what the action of the sun is like when it is coming up, ladies and gentlemen. So look at the sun with safe lenses like welding goggles or real dark sunglasses when it comes up in the morning. Okay. Also, uh, exposed film that's dark, folks. You got old uh, film that's been laying around like a 35 millimeter camera or older camera that's real dark. Uh, photo film and you can see through it and it's really good shade if you don't have sunglasses or if you want an extra shade over your sunglasses and check that action of the sun out because that's naturally filtered through ice and that's what's coming up way more than one sun uh, dark terahydrons tetrahydrons here at the volcano at uh, Mount St. Helens okay Mount St. Helens and these are today's folks okay check that out there bam and bam and whatever else your eyes see and I think there's a darkness there a little bit to the left there so more volcano lighting act and redoubt I think redoubt is uh, Alaska check out the light propagation there also you see this terahydron tetrahydron the pyramid and then human beings down here on earth they didn't have anything else to watch and check that crazy action out there folks that is not a branch out in front of this of the Sun or that camera okay that is stuff in space check that out okay and that basically nothing much there but that this one here is a really close study folks on this one here this is wild okay so and also as you see she's getting active okay that volcano is getting active and now you've seen the Japan one and I gave you the links to go look at that one and watch that you can watch that volcano it'll probably go ape crazy again and then we blow up on these are some old shots, and you can see the terahydron tetrahydron action. And I'm not sure if that is readout again, but it might be. And apologize. And here's some more terahydron action up there. This also there. You see those? And I'll come back over it, and you see the light propagation, which is awesome, off the suns, okay? And objects in front of the sun. And basically, there's your Alaska volcano. Augustine Island cam okay so let's blow this up to f so we get a good example and as you see old picture right 2009 but check out the new one over here and check out the terahydrons tetrahydrons and pretty freaky cloud action too and more than likely maybe heating up maybe plumes I'm not sure 
but you can see the terahydron tetrahydron action folks so all of these stars and planets out in space that are dark terahydrons tetrahydrons and also supergiants they have their old historical positions and they wake these volcanoes up folks Science has talked about it for a long time, and it's really getting crystal clear here. So there you go. Not fake making you just rolling through the wheel here. When there's the camera shot and the time right there. Okay. So another fresh shot, and that is, like I said, Alaska Volcano Observatory, like Augustine Island Cam. Okay. There's an old shot, and there's a new one. It's heating up, more than likely. As you've seen, she used to be hot. I don't know if she's getting hotter now or not wild pictures and then like I say light propagation from the lagoon cam real wild okay I think we got an old shot over there yeah an old shot over there so there you go all kinds of volcanoes all over the world and no matter what this one's heating up there right out okay and wild action there folks wild action I'm even kind of wondering about this here but I'm pretty sure that that no matter what this is all light propagation you can see it pretty freaky pretty wild stuff fast tumbling stars in outer space folks planets and then we get dark light and these volcanoes like it and they are chem trailing the hell out of Lassen Peak check that out okay they are chem trailing the hell out of it check it out Chem trailing, chem trailing. Cover that sun glare up. I want to wake that damn volcano up. So check out what's up at this volcano over there that they're talking about. Check out the evening down there too, folks. And yes, we know they get 23 to 24 hours of sunlight, but there is our baby, one of the baby suns out of the supergiants. Glaring through the clouds, folks. There's the time. And that's basically R.S. James Clark Ross, British Antarctic Survey, looking forward. And there it is at nighttime. Check the time. And it's burning through the clouds in the middle of the night. Hella bright. And this is pretty awesome too, but let's go in and check and see if this is actually lights. This actually could be lights at the area. Let's go see if this lights or if it's actually something amazing. And yep, it looks like these are lights. But it'd be interesting to watch these stations down there. Because see, that's the other direction and it shoot, looks like it's shooting right into the lights. Sure looks like it's lights, folks. So, you have to watch them. These are the Japanese ones at that site there. Okay. So pretty sure it's just their lights. I think they're low quality. You know, that they're not energy saving and shooting down. So, but would be interesting to check out anything. That could be Aurora action here. But Scott Space in New Zealand's getting some interesting light action. Check that brightness to the left out and then check that brightness. Amazing. You really need sunglasses down there, big time. This is all at Scott's base down in New Zealand, and this is the site for that one. Okay. So, amazing sunlight, folks. Check that out. So, this will play pretty fast. And as you can see, you've seen a very dark object above the place, too. So, it'd probably be good to go look at the other one, too. So I think this plays pretty fast. I'm gonna get back around the evening time and 23, 24 hours of daylight down there. And there, there was an object. If you wanted, there's more hologram there. If you want to go ahead and freeze it, I'm not gonna take time. We've done a lot of looking at it. Check that out over the horizon. Check that out. That is badass. So possible eclipse action here too, folks. I think so. There was the moon action with the sun. I think. And as you see, there was holograms again. So there's holograms through this thing. So let's go look at the other video. Here she comes. I'm going to make this real fast. I hope this plays through good. There you go. Whammo. Shazammo. Very interesting action. So there might be more, but got to go. So this will end out here.